How to alter hive tables. Alter statement. In this video, I'm going to explain how to use the alter table statement to alter a hive table. By the end of this video, you'll be able to change a hive table's name, add columns, or remove columns. You will also be able to add partitions or drop partitions. Here is the syntax to change the table name using alter statement. And the syntax to add columns to the table using alter statement is For replacing or removing the columns using alter statement, we use the following syntax. Let's try these statements in the Hive console. I'm going to change the employee table into employee underscore org. I will do this by writing alter table employee rename to employee underscore org and then hit enter. This should have changed the table name to the new name. I am typing describe on the old table name. Here it says the table is not found. Now, let's issue describe command on the new table name. Here you go. The table name has been successfully changed. Now, I'll try adding two new columns to our hive table. I'm typing alter table employee underscore org add columns. I have added two new columns, employee city and employee state. Both are of string data types. I'm issuing describe on the hive table. Now you can see that these two new columns have been added to the hive tables just like we wanted. Finally, I'm issuing the same alter statement to replace the data type of one column and drop another column. For instance, in our employee underscore org table, let's change the data type of employee salary column to float data type, and let's drop the employee state column. This should change the data type of employee salary column. This should have also removed the employee state column since I haven't specified the employee state columns in the alter replace statement. I am issuing the describe statement on the employee underscore org table, and it has displayed the schema of the table as expected. In this video, we saw different ways to use the alter statement. In the next video, we will have a look at how deleting, dropping, and truncating a hive table works.